Welcome to the channel. Uh, as I said in the last one, I was going to show you. This is my personal spawn that I have played before for a while. I played it for a while before starting the tutorials. Oh, that is some lag. Someone asked that I show it, and this is... I guess I can take my horse. This is a password locked door, and as you can see, there's a bunch of keys in here. I had some issues with uh, thieves leaving random stuff thinking it was a fair trade to... So I have my entire spawn area plus some covered by a half wall that's turned ancient. It goes everywhere. I... oh. <laughs> I'm craving a wild onion. So this is my the orchard. I was playing with some architect, some of the new update architecture, just to see what it would be like. And I have so many apple trees. And I use this area when I play. I sometimes I'll open it to to players. I'll have babies, and more often than not, I would say about 99.9% .9 of the kids I have are new or fairly new. So I've set it up as kind of a tutorial, and there's these stones around that tell you where you're going or what's up. See, it says bees ahead. This is paper making up here. This is my fixing tools. This is my smithy. Hello. Oh, <laughs> forgot I had a friend drop by. I was making glass. I was going to be making some more glass soon. Uh, over here is for non-smithing stuff like the limestone and latex. This is the new come in that we'll be getting into soon in the tutorial. This is my chickens that I have been trying so desperately. Look at all these eggs. I have been trying so desperately to have a rooster and it's just not in the cards for me. Here's my kitchen. And now usually since I solo or only have a few kids at a time, I don't need a huge place. And so this, this has been working out fine. The best part is I'll like, I grab a basket and tell somebody I'm going to go shopping. So I'll come in here and go shopping. <laughs> uh, hey, let's take care of her craving. Let's see. We have one for wild onion. <laughs> Uh, we want a lemon. Now we want wild garlic. I don't know that I have any wild garlic. Let me check. I do. There's some wild garlic. And she wants grapes now. This knife. Mm, I was stocking up my storage and was getting sheep and I killed three at a time. And this knife would not come out of my hand to save my life and I was stuck until I died. I came over here, I was trying to drop it and I managed to switch it with something and now it's just permanently here. It's permanently there now. That's where it lives. It is the almighty Im immortal knife. Let's get some grapes. And now she wants a bee comb and I have one over here. Just one and I will show you guys in the tutorial how to do that. Can I have my, thank you. She wants another wild onion. My forever dancing lobster. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fish. I'm going to talk, I, I'll go through like everything. This is my kitchen garden, as you can see. It's the kitchen farm. And I have seed bags here and I will, we're close to being doing, able to do that. So the large farm is to the south. This is for those that want to practice doing stuff. And I have, I, I have put so much area inside the fence. You can hardly tell that you're inside the fence. Or inside a kept area. And this is for those that want to practice how to farm um, and what farming does. But look, I'll show you how far this fence goes. I was getting stuff stolen on the regular, and I don't think they think that I know who they are, but I knew who they were in game anyway, because they kept naming themselves the same thing. It was the same family, and the kids would go off wandering, and then. They would have kids in my area and other them and or their children would take stuff from my farm. And I was just like, okay, enough is enough because I'm working hard for all of that. See, it goes a very, very, very long way. But now I can actually take a break. I don't have to come in on a daily to this place and be like, um, you know, hey. I've got to replace something that was taken. 
these are some of the mini eaves this is silk farm and oh, we'll get into that also here's the animal farm um i'm going uh like i said I'm, I'm experimenting with things this is marble up in here and it's actually very much a headache to to deal with because of how much you have to have how it to what it takes to get it so the animal farm goes west this is my cotton farm and these are blue dyed silks and i have my paints up here because i was going to paint too so here's my animal farm i have bone meal going right here all this extra beef here's a wagon that i was discussing in the previous one uh that you have to have to get the big rocks with this these are um creameries these little things here are creameries and we are at the point in the tutorials where we could actually make these and i will show y'all how to do that you always yes i know there's a dead sheep in there but you keep a uh, sh dead sheep for a rennet and these peacocks are actually beautiful but annoying because they kept getting into my nursery somebody would leave the nursery door open and they would just get in there so here i have my horsies and my piggies and a little llama and the last thing we're going to check out oh well here's the brick making area so to make brick you need soil clay and a whole bucket of water and then two flat stones to lay uh, the wet brick out. You scoop it with a bowl and you lay it on a flat rock and then you put one flat rock on top of the other and it makes a brick. You have to have a forge to fire the bricks. So when you fire the bricks, they end up looking like this. And then when you build with them, they become ancient, just like the ancient stone walls and you can't get rid of them. So here's the nursery. I try to lay out uh, food for little tummies. Uh, it's a big area, but it's because I've um, I've got so many different clothing in here. And we'll go over that in one of the episodes to show you how to make the clothing. Like the poi packs here that I'm wearing, they hold up to five things instead of the rabbit fur ones that hold up to four. But on the bonuses, you can stick a tool. Yeah, well, not a bonus, but just like with this uh, fur, the rabbit pack, you can stick a tool on the outside of it. So one, one of the times somebody stole my wagon, they left me a pirate hat. I just was like, oh, something you can stumble across in the wild versus something you takes a lot of building and iron investment. It's not worth it. The uh, ra the raccoon hat. This right here, the nomad scarf. That's what I'm wearing on my head that allows me to put a basket. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the head wrap. So how do you make a head wrap? It's a, it's a bolt of cotton and needle. And you can put, so cotton, it's made, yes, it's made from like the cotton that I have growing in the farm. But it allows you more storage space for more foods if you need to carry them. And then you've seen most of these already. And the little teddy bears, which are adorable, they're made from a bear. You kill a bear and you take it, you put six cotton uh, pods, the uh, cotton pods on there, and then you just take a needle and thread to it, and then you can put it on your backpack. Yay! You can always have a little friend with you. That is pretty much it, though, um, for this place. It looks kind of big for a seed, but like I said, I also use this as a tutorial for a lot of new players. I find that it's easier if they're given room to spread out in designated areas to try doing stuff, like the fishing. Let's go oh, off my horse. So I set up a fishing spot like this, and they'll go fishing. Oh, I don't have a worm. And they'll either, they'll like they'll lose their hook or something like that, and it teaches them how to basically how to hook a with the rose bushes. They don't learn a whole whole lot at a time. They're able to pursue something that they might be interested in, and if they have questions, I can answer them pretty easily and show them how to do stuff. But that's it. I I have an upgraded mine within my um, walled off area. And it's upgraded to tier 3. This is the final tier and you can just keep using it over and over. It doesn't run out like the other ones. It's just, it's basically how fast can you click. <laughs> um, it does take new drill bits from time to time, but that's it. It's just like going to making oil and it takes new pipes every now and then. Like I said, I'm not sure... <laughs> The person that requested the for me to show this, they've seen this place before a few times, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure why they wanted it to be shown off. But there you go. If you have um, any questions about like what I use for building material, this is the cobblestone, the sandstone, sorry, that I'm standing on, and that's just plain sand. We'll be going and getting into that as the series goes on. But thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek at things that are coming up later in the series. And we'll see you along the way. Bye.